Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of Ken Plays Crash Landing. We're going to just jump right in here where we left off last time and make another shell storage. And there we go. So last time I wanted to go uh, to the city between episodes and try to collect some more stuff, which I did. So I've already made one other of these. So this is my second one. We're going to need that in a second. So if we head over here, oh, and this concrete, this is nice. I, this was on the roof of some of the buildings in the city. And uh, if you remember, I'd be on the very top of a building, and it's kind of hard to stay on it because you move, and you move real fast, and you almost fall off. So I mined a bunch of this up to use as a path so you can go a lot faster. Uh, so over here, of course, we've got our shell constructor, and like I said, I already made one. So what I did was, I constructed this, and then I walked in it, and then I picked the one that was in here, and I walked out as that one, and then I made another one. So now I've got two. So I've got, I'm ready to make another one. Now the thing is, if I put this here, I've got all my uh, shells here. What if I died right here? Something happened and I die here and then I come back out, I could die again. And we could lose the game. So you really don't want all of these together. So we're not actually going to put this in here. What I'd like to do is put it over here in my basement and it'll be nice and far away. And I took out the stairs to my basement and I moved the elevator, which we'll talk about. So the only way down to my basement is through that and there's no other way down here. So I think that makes it a pretty good spot. So I could go in there, but there's one other thing you've got to know about, and that is all of my inventory here is on this person, this shell. If I walk this shell into that uh, shell storage down there and then pop out of the one over there, my inventory is empty because all of the stuff's in there. So what you want to do is get yourself a chest of some kind. I probably could just use, yeah, I could just use this. Instead of making another one. And don't forget the stuff you have in your inventory, or in, uh, you know, the stuff you're wearing. Okay, so now I've got nothing. I have this piece of wood. And we can walk in here. And then I want to pick 216, 211. Um, should be this one. I want to come out from the one that's in the shell constructor. So that was not the right one. So it's this one. There we go. So now I'm this one. And then what I can do, I can start at making another one. So I'll have a, a shell in there, a shell here, and a third shell here. So if I do die, I can just immediately uh, start a new shell and go back to whatever I was doing. So that's good. We got that out of the way. I'm going to go downstairs. Oh, no, I'm going to go over here and get my stuff back. Oh, that's funny. Apparently when I put that in there, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't take that out. Okay, well, that's fine. I tried to reorganize some stuff here. Oh, I said at 20. Eh, let's keep that on us. Okay, so uh, let's just do a little uh, tour here. I've got some food stuff going we'll talk about. The main reason I went to get this stuff is I had to... I, my farm keeps getting bigger. I needed to go down there, and it takes forever. So this is just me walking. I'm not running. This is how fast you move on this stuff, so it's nice. Uh... So what I did, I got my mattock, and I made a new thing of grass over here, and I just kept hitting the ground with the mattock and popping stuff up, and I got some more things that I didn't already have, and I was putting them in here, so these are all duplicates. The other thing is occasionally a sapling will pop up, which would be a fruit tree. Well, I came over with bone meal, and I just started hitting the ground with bone meal, and I got all these different trees, uh, cherry and, you know, lime, and just there's every single one of these is a different uh, fruit tree. So I got all those. I got all of this, and I got my sugar cane. And what I've got here is this diamond chest, and that's where I drop everything. So all I do is I go out and just, I can take anything I want, and then I put it in the diamond chest, and it just sits here. 
And then this is just duplicates. This is not hooked up to Steve's factory manager, just this diamond one is. So the diamond chest, I call it my crop chest, because that's where all the crops go. Then in here, I've got my juicer. I've got my wood chest here, which keeps all my tools. This chest here has components that I use to make other stuff. So, you know, firm tofu, soy milk, peanut butter, cheese, butter, toast, bread, sugar, you know, there's all kinds. These are my components. These are my finished foods. These are what I've been eating. Grilled cheese, peanut butter and jelly, veggie stir fry, fish sandwich, blueberry pancakes. And it's a little hard because I don't have any good source of meat. Um, I occasionally get fish, so that's the only meat we have. It takes a long time to make these. You've got to, you know, make bread and make it into toast and then make cheese and make butter, which those take a while to make because uh, you got to get tofu and make it into soy milk. It's a lot of steps and it's hard to remember all those steps and it's time consuming. So this is actually all automated. If I take a fish sandwich, it makes another one. Um, I don't want to spend a long time explaining this in Steve's factory manager, but I'm pretty proud of it. So I'll just want to show you real quick food production. I ran out of room. These are actually command groups. I ran out of room, so there's, you know, multiple ones. The first thing I did was I made variables, because if I was doing that, I would have to go, okay, I'm going to make this food item from this chest to this chest, and you got to look through that list. So I made variables, um, and each variable is a different color, and you can pick your container, and so somewhere in here is the crop chest, and I clicked it. So the crop chest is this variable, right? And then I made one for the tool chest, and it's this. And you see when you type in the name here, it names that. So, for example, components. Um, so we need to make soy milk, right? And I tried to name these two. So we've got a conditional, and we check our inventory, and look, show all variables. Oh, we check our component chest, because that's where I keep soy milk. And what we do is we say, Oh, soy milk or silk and tofu. This one's a little confusing because there's two, because you get two out of it. So maybe we shouldn't use that one as a... Uh, probably this one's better, bread. Yeah. Okay, so let's use bread as an example. So inventory, bread. Component chest. So check the component chest. Check for bread. See if there's 10. Is there 10 bread in the component chest? Yes. Well, then it doesn't do anything. No. Okay. So there's not 10 bread. So then inventory. And what do we have? Crop chest. And that's it, right? Because that's the only thing that one needs. And blacklist. And then we go to the crafter and we put in our recipe. So the wheat's in the crop chest. So we say three wheat makes bread. And then the output we set to the component chest and we whitelist bread. So as soon as I pull a bread out and there's less than 10, boom, it immediately takes three wheat and makes another one. There's another one of these to make toast. I believe that's in the second one. Let's see if we can find... Wait, why is there another bread? I think that one's actually the toast. Yeah, this one's toast. That should not be called bread. Okay, so this does the same thing. It checks the um, component chest to see if there's 10 bread, right? True, do nothing, false. Input, this one's a little different. So what do we input from? We input from the component chest. I didn't mean to click that. And we input whatever, and then we output two. And this one's actually set to one of the chests that feeds uh, the furnace. No, it's set to the furnace. So output to the furnace, and then we whitelisted bread, and we said one. So anytime there's not 10 toast, it sends bread to the furnace, which gets returned back, and then we have 10 toast, which would make us have less bread, and the other one makes the bread, right? So then you just keep doing that for all your components, and you got all your components in there, and then when you make your finished food, for example, grilled cheese, we check to see, of course, if there's 10 grilled cheese. If there's not, well, then we need to input from, well, what do we input from? Well, we need the component chest, because that's where our butter and our cheese and our toast is. We need the tool chest, because that's where the skillet is. And we need the barrels, because we need, uh, I believe, salt or something for that. So we have all those inputs, and it's just blacklisted, and then we craft, and we craft our recipe and grilled cheese, and then we output to the chest. So the moment I take a grilled cheese out, and now there's not enough components and then it starts trying to make more toast and then it has to make more bread and then you know so on and so forth so each one of these things is automated all of these are automated 
So it's automatically going to keep a stock here. And some of them are higher because I already had some of these things. This chest up here is actually the stuff I had before I automated. So I've been trying to eat that. So that's our food situation. Basically, I just have to occasionally go out there and harvest everything and throw it in this diamond chest. And all my food's made for me. And I've got five different things. I'm actually very close to making a hearty breakfast. I've got all the components. I got the potato cakes. I got the fried eggs. I got the orange juice. I think it took one other thing. Uh, I don't remember exactly. And the only thing I'm missing is I need uh, pork. So if we can ever get animals, then I'll be able to make hearty breakfast, which is pretty awesome. We'll have six things. So that's our food situation. We are good to go on the food. Uh, the water situation, basically, you know, we're good to go. We've got our water drum, and we can make more water with leaves. The only thing I have to do with leaves... I need bone meal, which we get from our mob grinder, so I can grow trees on uh, command, and I need iron. And thanks to our excavator down here, um, I can go outside the wall, I can get a huge amount of dust really fast, and come over here and drop it in this chest, which will send it in here. This was, like, way down here before. And this will slowly keep sifting dust, and I've been occasionally coming over here and throwing stuff in and throwing stuff in. The whole time I've been working on everything else. Look, we've got 150 iron. Everything else is up, you know, much higher than that. Because I keep using iron. Uh, so we're good to go on water. We don't have to worry about water. We don't have to worry about food. Uh, we've got our sink shells. We've got some over there. we got some in here. So we'd, we're good to go on that. So we, from a survival standpoint, we're doing awesome. Okay? Uh, we're doing awesome. I'm not worried about dying. I'm not worried about the game ending. Um... Things are a little bit manual. I have to manually harvest crops. I have to manually harvest leaves uh, to make water, that kind of stuff. But we're doing pretty awesome with that. So what we need to do this episode, we need to do two things. Number one, we need to do a whole bunch of quests. We haven't done any quests in a long time. And the other thing is we got to start thinking about these barrels because like the gunpowder here, we're getting close to filling this barrel up. And there's a couple different ways we can handle that. I'm not as worried about that. So let's start with some of these quests. Oh, wait, I need to... Put on my heart canister, I just noticed. What's that at? Okay, let me reorganize this, because I... Like everything in a certain order. Is that even the right order? How did I have that? Quest book, I don't need that fish sandwich right now. Okay, so the quest did change a little bit. Um... Before, we had this uh, slab furnace, and then we had the smeltery, and then we had the Ahai oven. Well, it's disappeared now, and now it wants us to make this uh, grindstone from Applied Energistics. Well, where did the smeltery go? Well, it's under this one, I believe. Now look, we've got this. And this didn't exist before. Um, I need to make a hardened tank, which I don't think that's a big deal. A tin hammer, I think that's pretty easy. Um, I don't know what the recipe is for that. We can look that up. And then this is the smeltery which I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have to redo that or not. And then this is the high oven, uh, which we could probably do that. I don't know what this is. I, I can't tell what that is. Uh, so we're going to do that, but basically we just need to fire through some of these quests here. So let me see. One of these I thought we could do... Oh, it was this one. I finally killed enough stuff. So the sink core we don't need. I think we're going to go with the machine frame, because I think that's going to be harder to make. Um... This one, we really can't get into that yet. So we can make the grindstone. And the big thing, though, we're going to start doing is we're going to start doing this. I need to make a piece of TNT. And then for this, I need to make the tin hammer, the bag, and the thing. So let me pause real quick, and I'm going to make stuff for all three of those quests, and then we'll be back. Okay, I just got some sand together. Yeah, it should be the very last thing we need. Uh, so the first thing here, we'll make a TNT. Oh, third step. Oh no, we got it all, right? Because I already had compressed iron. Okay. So that's our first quest here with the pneumatic craft. Now we got to make some pressure tubes. Oh, we haven't got a quest with a reward bag yet. Interesting, interesting. Let's come back to that in a moment. That's definitely one I want to start heading down. Uh, so we should need the tin hammer and the portable tank and the bag. So let's see. Um... Which one was I going to do? This one. We already had a bunch of these tanks. You just have to add Invar. And I had already made quite a bit of Invar. Pull 
believe I've got everything for that. Yes, and there's that. And we need a tin hammer. And there's that. Okay. Miniature hard or grilled? I've got plenty of grilled cheese. Okay. We've got this one done. It knows that. We need to make a scorched drain. I'm assuming I can just use... Oh, you know, I think I moved that stuff outside. Yes. Yep, there we go. I guess I already had that. Yep, because I got that from the city. Oh, okay, nuclear reactor. Okay, so we are not getting to this for quite some time. So put that out of your put that out of your head. Bricks. Eh, I don't really need those out here. Okay. So we are um, done with the salvage operation uh, for quite some time. What was the other one in here? This, the grindstone and the crank. Um, the crank. No, that's a crook, right? Uh, it's like the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. And then the grindstone. Grind. Oh, space stone. Boom. I'd already made that wooden gear. Just four pieces of sticks. And, oh, we got to make Invar, Tinkers, and Electrum. I already have all those things, so I just guess have to blend them up then. Uh, so what you do with the grindstone, we actually, they like I said, they added this quest. This didn't used to be here. We're actually past this, and so we don't need this thing, but we had to make it. So the grindstone helps you make stuff early game. Let me see. We need an Electrum and an Invar, and what else? I need my book back. I've lost it. Oh, I, already, I do have it. Oh, okay. That's uh, bronze, I believe, right? The Tinker's Alloy. And I think I have bronze. Yes. See how much nicer that road is? You do need to go to a regular brick right before a door, because it really is hard to get through the door. Um, so we're going to grind up Electrum and an Invar, and I, I'm pretty sure that's a bronze. I'm just going to go with it. Oh, wait, did it say what it was? Yeah, 90% certain. Uh, so you just stand here, and I, I'm just going backwards. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I already had Invar. Invar is a combination of things that we combined in the smeltery. If you didn't have a way to do that, you could take and make powders, and then you could combine them in a crafting grid, and you could cook them in a furnace. Oh. It wants me to craft, doesn't it? Not just have them in my inventory. Okay, that's a bummer. Ah. Uh. So we've got to craft, or we got to grind iron and nickel, and gold and silver, and copper and tin. Okay, let me do that, and we'll be back. Okay, should have everything I need here. My inventory's a mess. Uh, so I think it's like copper and tin, like this. Yep, okay, there's that. Silver and gold makes the electrum. Uh, ferrous and iron, where's iron at? here. I don't know how it goes. Like this? Yep. Invar. Is that all of them? Bronze and Electrum and Invar? Yes. And I need Invar Shears. Okay, that's easy. And there you go. What do we want? Um, I'm going to just assume this. I don't need a battle wrench. I can make bronze, so... Did I pick it? Wait, what are we having trouble with? Got it, got it, got it. Pick... Oh, no. Uh, it's not a pick your reward. I get all three. What are we having a problem with here? I could have a little bit of a bug. Okay, let me... Oh, you know what it is? I might have too much stuff in my inventory. That is a possibility. Let's get rid of all this, because we don't need it, and eventually I'll just take it all back to the smeltery. I can put that in there. What else can I get rid of? This. I can get rid of this. Aha! So there you go. 
Okay, so we got all that stuff. Um, and then, you know, this we need to get into the pneumatic craft. And I think that's as far as we can go here. So we're pretty much done with the survival for the moment. And we're definitely done with this for the moment. So now we're just here. This is where we're at. So we need to make this, the pressure tube. Uh, let me clear out my inventory and uh, smelt that stuff up. And then we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I did mention I went to the city. Um, that's why I made the sink shell. I went several times to the city over there and once to this city. Uh, I pretty much have just been going for those pneumatic craft buildings. So I've got quite a bit of stuff here. I really don't know exactly what I need and what I don't need. But I have a feeling all that's going to come in handy. So the first thing we're going to do is make the pressure tube. I I'm just going to make one for the moment. I, I know we're going to need more than that, but I want to see what the quests once. Okay, an air compressor. Okay, furnace, that's easy. Do I have any? No. There's our air compressor. Um, definitely don't need lightning plant seeds. How hard is the pressure gauge? Is it that one? Gold, and now that's easy. I guess we'll go for the reward bag. I've never gotten one yet in this. Let's see what we got. Chocolate bar, marshmallows, ginger snaps. That was fairly useless for me. I'm going to put it up here. Pressure gauge tube. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to need some gold for that, huh? Five, sure. So this... Oh, we're going to need some redstone. Okay, so now we need to make a pressure chamber. We have quite a few walls. We don't have a window or a valve. We'll have to make that, but we have a ton of that uh, block, uh, or the uh, compressed iron, a uh, large amount of it. So I don't think that'll be a problem. No, nope, that was what I wanted. Get rid of all this other stuff. Okay, so window. I don't know, how many windows do you want? That many? Sure. I mean, we could make a 3x3. Three three. I don't know that there's any advantage to making a bigger one, but... I definitely have the resources to make a bigger one. Interface. Wall corroded. I don't, think I, I don't know if it wants me to craft this. Let's go ahead and craft one, just to be certain. Okay. Plastic. I think we need the pressure chamber to make that, so we probably have to put the pressure chamber together first. Okay. So the reason I built this room is because I knew we were getting a pneumatic craft, and I plan to build the pressure chamber. I don't know how that got there. must have been when that was the back of the building. I plan to build the pressure chamber up here and then put the compressor, I think, downstairs, I guess. The other option would be to... Because I've been trying to keep the heat stuff outside. I don't know, that's kind of bad. Maybe I should do it over here and just we'll put the compressor in the corner and then have the chamber here so the heat's kind of away from us because I think we have to use that. Let me uh, get some stuff here. Probably what we ought to do. It's this one, right? What does this take the whole thing? So we've already got, yeah, we've got a lot of walls here. Um, hmm. Let me, um, let me do a little bit of this off camera and try to decide exactly what I'm doing with the layout. Okay, I just, uh, I'm just going to go with the 3x3. Three three. I thought about making it bigger because I made enough windows. Let's just start with this. Um, so I just put a valve here and I've kind of put some windows on the two sides and I put one in the top and the bottom. It, 
you know, I could have just made the whole thing solid except for putting the valve here and having an empty block in the middle. We'll, we'll try to make it bigger later. Uh, air compressor. I'm really, this is probably one of the few mods that I just have never messed with. So I don't know. Oh, I was going to put this in the corner, right? No. It's got a, a specific side, doesn't it? I missed it. Did I? No, I didn't. It's this one right here. Oh, because I guess that can't. Okay. See, I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so then I... I think we just need charcoal. Let's just get a couple pieces and see what happens. I know you can definitely blow these things up. I hear air. Okay. That looks like a good sign. Um, what do we have a lot of? This. Um, we've got to drop stuff in. Probably going to be... Well, we can try this. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Kind of need to be able to do it from the top. Now we should build some pressure up. Are we? It's hard to tell. Does not look like we're building any pressure. Hmm. I don't have a hole, do I? I think those have to be in a certain direction. Maybe they do. It's all solid down there. Okay, let me troubleshoot this. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Okay, I just made the noise stop. I had made it, I didn't make it a 3x3, three three, um, because I had also used the floor. So there wasn't one square in there open, there were actually two squares, because I was down in the floor. So I just got rid of that. Yeah, and see. Hopefully. Did those things go in there? Oh boy, I don't know. I don't have them. Unknown. We're making pressure. I just lost my seeds. Oh no, there they are. Okay. Excellent. So I don't know what pressure this has to get up to. Uh, it's like higher than this, so this is going to take a while because uh, I don't have any upgrades or anything. So let's uh, come back when I'm close to doing something here. Okay, I wasn't looking, but it just changed, and it didn't get that high at all. It looks like we're out of stuff anyway. Okay, so we made two plastic. Oh, apparently I had to make specifically that color of plastic. Uh said I could use any kind of seed. Okay, let's pause again for a minute.
Okay, we just got some uh, ones I made out of the creeper plant seeds. There we go. Okay, so plastics, that's pretty easy to make. Machine upgrade, squid plant. I think I have the those. Yep, squid plant. Um, I guess I'll go with those. Okay, let's uh, put those in here for next time. So, where are we at? We got all kinds of stuff here. Losing air. Okay, so this is the uh, interface, I guess, right? It's like a door, I think. You can open and close. Empty PCB. So that's when we'll start making PCBs. Yeah, getting into all that. Uh, we pretty much reached the end of the episode here, which is good. We got our pneumatic craft started. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, the reason we're doing this, I haven't explained it, but it, normally there's all kinds of machines from thermal expansion, like the redstone furnace. Normally, in uh, thermal expansion and pretty much every mod pack, the recipe... I probably should have typed a little more. The recipe for this has a center block here. It's a machine frame, and it's made from some pretty simple stuff. In Crash Landing, it requires this. A logic expansion card, which requires printed circuit board from Pneumatic Craft. So you have to have Pneumatic Craft to make thermal expansion. Because normally you would start off in Minecraft, and you would start with thermal expansion. Here, you've got to start with Pneumatic Craft to get thermal expansion. Which is one of the reasons why I've automated so much stuff with Steve's Factory Manager. Because normally, by this point in the game, I'd have, you know, an MFR farm out there doing that, and I'd have redstone furnaces cooking th stuff up. So, uh, we're at an excellent stopping point. Uh, we did not get to our barrel upgrade, but, you know, that's kind of low priority. So, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here and on the next episode we are going to continue uh, doing all this stuff and moving more into pneumatic craft uh, so until next time i will see you then